I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on rate of increase for the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products and the author of the DAP Destroyer book. We're going to be doing a math problem today. Students are saying to me they like word problems. So we're going to work some nice, solid problems involving rate of increase with Professor Blois, who happened to be my professor when I was a student. And the way he electrified me in math, I hope he's going to do the same for you. All right, Professor, if you can show us what you have here. Okay, thanks, Jim. Uh, professor Blois here. Let's read this problem together. Tom can only afford to put enough gas in his truck each week to travel 300 miles. If the price of gas increases by 20%, approximately how many miles will he be able to drive on the same amount of gas that he can afford uh, each week on the original budget? Okay, now, at first blush, you may look at this and say, well, he'll be able to travel 20% less miles. And that's not the case. Let's look a little closer at this problem to, to see why not. Now, for this problem, I'm going to introduce a technique which you may be may be very helpful in other solving other problems. Let's just make up an amount. Let's say his weekly budget, let's say his weekly budget is $300. All right, just make it up. And the gas, uh, or let's say each mile, let's say each mile costs him $1, okay? So how many miles can he travel? If, if, he, if he can only afford $300, each mile costs him a dollar to travel, then the, the number of miles he can travel is $300 divided by $1 per mile, and that's equal to 300 miles. Okay, we now find out that the price of gas increased by, increases by 20%. Well, what does that mean? Each mile is going to cost him and a, a, an appropriate amount more, corresponding amount more. Each mile is now going to cost him, each mile is now going to cost 20% more. That's $1.20. Okay? So let's figure out on the same budget, $300 divided by, now it's $1.20 per mile. How many miles will he be able to drive on that with that increased price of gas? So all we have to do is uh, reduce the fraction 300 over a dollar 20. The problem is really solved. So we have 3,000 over 12, moving the decimal place over one. And uh, let's see, we can say six goes into uh, 35 times. We have 500, six goes into 12 uh, twice. So that's equal to 250 miles. So you see, it's not 20% less miles than 300. No, we have to go through a ratio calculation to find out that with the increase of and when gas increases by 20%, he can only travel 250 miles. Now, here is a related problem, right? I put these two problems back to back so we can look at the difference between them. Let's read the second problem. Tom can only afford to put enough gas in his truck each week to drive 300 miles. Same as the first problem. When the price of gas increases, he can only afford to put 20% less gas in his tank. Okay, how far can Tom's truck drive on 20% less gas? Well, that's an easy one, right? He got 20% less gas, he can only drive 20% less. So it's only going to be, uh, the answer to that is going to be 80% of 300 or 240 miles. Okay, and that's fairly straightforward, right? Uh, the 20% less gas, 20% less miles he's able to drive. Okay. Now let's look at part B. Calculate the percent increase in gas price. All right, what's the increase in gas price going to be? Well, we know that his budget, let's say that his budget is $300, right? And let's say that the cost per mile is $1, $1 per mile. Okay, so that's the rate at which he's paying from while. Let's represent that by X. We know that if we divide his total budget by his the cost per mile, we're going to get the total amount of miles that he's able to drive. Well, we already calculated that in part A. That's 240. All right? So the amount of increase in the gas price is going to be represented by X. So 300 divided by X is equal to 240. A little bit of algebraic rearrangement. X is equal to 
300 divided by 240. Uh, let's reduce that. Cross out the zeros. 6 goes into 35 times. 6 goes into 24 four times. 5 fourths, 1.25, which means it costs him $1.25 per mile, which means what? In comparison to the original dollar per mile, his the percent increase in gas price is 25%. And that's uh, how to do that problem. That was a very nice problem, Professor Boyce. I kind of thought it was pretty challenging. There's many, many questions just like this in our new edition of the Math Destroyer, so I want you to check these out. Professor Blois did these problems, and they're similar to this. Would you say the problems in the Math Destroyer are harder than this, about this? Oh, no, this is, about, this is representative. This is All right, so you got the idea. So this would be very representative of a commonly asked question that you're going to say. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again when the professor is back in action. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.